This video will show you how to use the PixPro stitching software to easily stitch up your 360 drone footage. First, we have a few tips for you to do when shooting to minimize the amount of stitching you'll end up having to do afterwards. Make sure that both cameras are oriented correctly when attached with the drone attachment so both LCD screens are facing the same way. Make sure the camera's drone attachment is centered in the middle of the drone and tightened firmly in place in order to reduce any mismatch of the two sides of the 360 video due to shaking, which can be a problem when shooting in windy or otherwise turbulent conditions. You should also wipe the camera lenses to make sure there's no smudges and the picture isn't blurry. Finally, right before takeoff, you should do an audio sync of the cameras, which means hitting record on the cameras and clapping loudly so that the sounds are picked up by both cameras' microphones. This helps ensure there's no mismatch in the recordings due to the relative location of the cameras, which can cause parallax even if they're only one time frame apart. Begin by running the program and dragging the video file from the camera facing the sky into the software first, and the file from the camera facing the ground second. Don't do the opposite because the file will then render upside down. Then change the image orientation from the default front back to up and down to be able to pan through the video. After this, hit the audio sync button in the bottom left of the screen and the program will automatically not line up the video files. The most common issue with initially stitching the footage is that the legs of the drone are visible due to the stitch line of the lower camera being too low. You should begin the, the stitching process by first going to the effects menu and changing the blending from smooth to sharp. This will make it easier to see where the stitch line is actually located. In order to mitigate the flawed overlap causing the drone's legs to be visible, use the distance tool in the calibration menu to decrease the height of the stitch line relative to the horizon. Keep going until you just cover the legs of the drone. Then you'll use the same distance tool on the top camera and in increase the distance in order to make up the difference. You're going to have to play with the various calibrations in order to find the best looking orientation for both spheres to overlap without creating parallax. Do this by identifying specific artifacts in the video along the stitch line which seem fragmented, blurry, or otherwise warped, and fix the inconsistency by applying a certain amount of rotation, increasing or decreasing the relative distance, pan, or tilt of the cameras. Then change the frame to a later point in time and see whether the stitch along those same artifacts is still consistent. Continue this process until you're satisfied with the overall look of the video, hopefully keeping any distortion throughout it to a minimum. This concludes our video on how to stitch your drone footage with our software. Visit our website at KodakPixPro.com if you'd like to purchase our Kodak PixPro Dual Pro Pack for the 3DR drone.